Hello everybody, Basic Ollie here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another ACC video. Today we're at Zanfort and we're actually looking at something that I have always said this game desperately, desperately needs if it wants to keep its fan base. And sadly the game has not produced it, but there has been a website that has done exactly what all us ACC fans want, and that is skilled based matchmaking. So what is this website called? Well, this website is called Low Fuel Motorsport, and what it does essentially is it adds daily races, skill based matchmaking, different splits, driver rating, safety rating, everything you could want. There's over 10,000 members on it, just 317 members today, three races that they have daily. They have the 45 minute race with Manfred Pit Stop, GT4 race, and they have GT3 races. And you can see up here, look, um, you can see my account in the top right hand corner, you see I've got a speed rating, shall we say, of 1,542 and a safety rating of 3.59. So how do you join it then? Well, quite simply, you click on the race that you want to join, as so, and you can see the session live. And just look at the amount of people, 123 people in a race tonight, quarter past six. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Five different splits. I never thought I'd see the day on ACC. I never really did. Um, and today we're going to take part in our own race. So we're at Zanvort. Um, we've qualified in P6 for this one. This is our first official race on this series or um, on this website. So our, our rating is basically completely, completely blank. So we won't have any sort of rating whatsoever. We started with the, I think, the standard like 3.5 or whatnot. But hopefully the rating at the start isn't going to ruin the <laughs> results of this race because I don't really think you can tell uh, from what I've shown you there uh, exactly where we come in this one. So we're going to start as Zanderbot. I am in the Bentley. I qualified P6 in this one. We're in the third split, so there's three splits in this race. As we're looking to get as close to 70 miles per hour, 70 kilometers an hour, green lights go out and away we go. We're going to get a good start. There is a chap on our right-hand side in a Mercedes. Uh, Ambrose on the right. As we go two wide, going there, three wide into turn one there. It looks like the Audi's just about going to get through there uh, and gets himself solidified into P2. The Mercedes P3, Aston in P4, and I've managed to get myself up to P5. But the Aston goes into the back of the Mercedes there, loses the rear end. I just managed to sneak up on the inside as we go into this awesome uh, turn three, official, officially, according to Wikipedia. I will say that's more like turn four to me, but, you know. Uh, I don't know if I can argue with Wiki or not, but that was more like turn four to me. But anyways, as we go through, let's say, turn six and turn seven, I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce names of the, the corners, by the way. No chance there. Very, very heavily Dutch. <laughs> There's no way I'm pronouncing it. But we want to get this first lap underway. As we go through turn eight, monstrous corner, by the way. You can easily understeer and go wide. With this one here as well, you feel like you can break so much later than you actually do. Um, and it's a nice, big, wide, open corner. And then we turn into turn 10 as well. Get nice and tight uh, and just try and get slam the the, the foot, the pe pedal down, I should say, if I could speak. <laughs> uh, slam, yeah, slam your foot on the gas pedal. Uh, and then eye break as the curb just appears before turn 12. They're on the left hand side. First gear or second gear, still undecided. I probably more in favour of first gear as you go through there. Uh, and then get into second gear as soon as you can. And we set ourselves down for turn 13. Now you will notice this is not. The updated version of this track. I think this is the track from 2018. So ACC hasn't updated it, and I don't think they really will either. But first lap completed, you can see we've actually gone up two positions. So it's been a very, very good start to the race. And I am going to look. Just a cheeky little move on the inside of turn one if we can. I'm going to go side by side uh, with the Mercedes. I'm just going to call him Jay, because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce uh, his surname. He's in the uh, pink and black Mercedes. I am in the big green Bentley, so a thick boy in a thick car. It had to be done. Um, I love the sound of this thing. Sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, and it handles brilliantly. So we get up to lap four, and I'm really starting to settle in now. You can see my best time of 36.5. I think at the time, I think that was a tenth off the fastest lap of the race. So I'm feeling constant. Tire pressures are exactly where they need to be. Every time I talk to an ACC fan, they always say it's 27.5. Anywhere between 27.5 and 28 is exactly where you need to be. And I'm really trying to work hard on the setups. And uh, talking of setups, P1 I think had an absolute monstrous setup because he absolutely flew in qualifying. But in the race, now we're into four laps, five laps in, he is starting to struggle. Now once again, you can see the turn one, I am just trying to stink my nose off the inside, just try and make the guy in front panic and outbreak himself. He does slightly, 
uh, going into turn one, but then we end up going wide as well. And you can see P1 and P2 are fighting, and the Audi actually there has gone past um, that chap in turn two. You can see there's five of us now going to this banker corner in turn three, and it looks absolutely mega. I was annoyed with myself because I didn't actually save the replay, and I wish I had. I wish I had. I had my eye racing mind on where as soon as you try and quit the race, it says, do you want to save the replay? I just completely went blank and I didn't bother doing it. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Anyways, turn seven. This one here, by the way. This this, this is a killer, by the way, if you don't get it right. So we're going to go side by side with a stadium. Bit of contact there before we turn into uh, turn eight. A bit of contact. I think it was okay uh, from my point of view. Let me know what you think in the comments. A little bit of contact, but uh, I think uh, if you look back at it, the, the track on the left-hand side kind of just cuts off um, and uh, you just had nowhere to go. Uh, and we had a little bit of a collision, but thankfully I come out on top and we are now in 2P3. But we go six, six laps in and you're going to see I completely and utterly missed my breaking point. Like, it was really bad and I had my heart in my mouth because I really thought, oh, I'm going to really take this guy out. It's going to look her terrible. My safety rating is going to plummet. I'm going to look like such a pleb in my first race. Recording it, going to put it on YouTube. Oh yeah, six laps in, look what this guy does. Um, just smashes into P2 and that's that. Anyways. We're on lap seven now, and I'm feeling feisty. You can see I'm two temps up, oh, well, temp and a half now as we go through turn three, and I'm feeling like I really need to make up for my mistakes. I was so poor, I don't know what I was doing uh, in that mistake, and I'm just staying to the right-hand side as we go through uh, this, these kinks, kinks of corners, uh, and I'm just trying to, again, just trying to get in the mindset of this chap in front of me. I'm going to call him H in the Aston, because, uh, again, there's no, ch there's no chance of pronouncing that surname. Um, and yeah, I'm, I just try to get side by side, just try and put him off, force him into mistake. Uh, but he does quite well, uh, and no mistake from him whatsoever. But he goes through turn 9, and I'm going to try something really cheeky here. I'm going to go through turn 10, I'm going to try and go around the outside. I, hope, I was hoping I'd had enough traction, but you see, as soon as I put my foot down, at the rear end of the Bentley, unfortunately, just stuck out a little bit. And we have got a nice run, but he is, unfortunately, as we go into turn 11 there, he has the run of me, and I just can't quite make the move done. Uh, into turn 11 and as we go through turn 12 he gets quite a good exit but he just goes a little bit wide and the opportunity is still there for the taker so we go through turn 13 now um, two wheels on the curb you've got to be really careful not to run wide and then to turn 13 it's absolutely treacherous if you do if you do then it is yeah it's game over you're going to lose so many positions um, it's unbelievable but we can complete eight laps now and we've got 11 minutes and 50 seconds of this race to go and we go into turn 1 you can see there H has completely and utterly outbraked himself, unfortunately for him, and that has gifted me a position. So from up to P3, down to P5, and now we're up to P4, as so we just get past him in turn two there, and go into turn three. And then we go to lap 10. Again, I am on an absolute roll here. I am feeling much better. My confidence is high. I put all sorts of pressure uh, on Jay in front of us in the Mercedes. By the way, if you're looking at the relative in the bottom left-hand corner and thinking what do the numbers mean, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, it actually means what rank you are in the lobby. So what your driver rating is compared to everyone else. As far as I'm aware, someone can correct me on that if I am wrong. Please do let me know. But I believe we are car number 22 here. So the people who are fighting around us have had previous experience on this system, as such, on this new system that we found. So they've got a bit more experience than I have, but I'm starting to really get into ACC now, and um, I'm loving it. I have to say, I'm absolutely loving it. As we go into turn eight, um, here we go. I'm going to try and try and pronounce this master master botched master botched i don't know again <laughs> i'm sure i'm gonna get absolutely ridiculed <laughs> in the chat or in the comments and then once again i'm gonna try and go around the outside in turn 10 the rear does stick out but i actually do manage to get a move done around the outside and i was absolutely chuffed with that absolutely chuffed and we're just gonna stay on board here to see if either of the two retaliate the aston does look for a move on the inside there but the mercedes got enough momentum to just carry enough speed to get past him and the Aston is stuck behind him once more and at this point I'm thinking to myself right I've got P3 can we concentrate and can we catch up with P1 and 2 they are 4.4 seconds ahead and there's only about 10 minutes to 7 minutes of the race to go really so can we do it and the answer is yes we can we are we are catching we are catching we're just you can see three laps later and just two minutes to go so we've got two laps left it was two seconds and then by the next lap it's now just 1.5 seconds, but the guy in the McLaren 720S, or the Audi, I should say, um, <laughs> McLaren 720S, the guy in the Audi, unfortunately, uh, roughs in there, just completely missed the corner uh, on turn seven. So easy to do. 
and that was that. And then it was the last lap. So we're going to stay on board here for this whole lap. And you can see exactly what I do here. So turn one, as tight as to the inside as I can, up to second gear, as soon as I exit the corner, up to fourth, 180 k's, and then braking quickly into third gear, and then just shifting down as quick as I can as we go into turn three. I prefer first gear here, get a real nice launch out of turn three, because the banking section really does help with the traction. So I think first gear is is a good gear to be in out of that corner through here easy flat all the way up to fifth gear 230 kilometers an hour uh, and then breaking downhill on this right hander such an awesome corner again stay tight don't run too wide there you've got a little bit of curb to save your bacon if you do and then going through turn eight here curb on the inside but there's like a miniature curb on the inside of the curb and if you hit that your car launches so do be wary of that but you can see how close we are to this Bentley right now we are so so close and I'm desperately looking for a move and I just God gets a little bit of a wobble there as we exit turn 10 and it's just oh, it's just that's the momentum I didn't need to lose and I'm breaking just past the white line which is my breaking reference point I didn't quite get that earlier because I completely missed the first white line so I was looking for the second one uh, and I'd already gone past it uh, and then you can see look I'm desperately look there's no chance to go for a move on the inside in turn what was that turn 13 but no there isn't uh, and as we go through turn 14, unfortunately, our fate has been sealed. It looks like just for a split second as well, we thought, oh, he might be going slow enough, but no. Fortunately, we're going to finish this race. We're going to finish in P2, up up and down, up and down this race. But it was an awesome, awesome race, nonetheless. Uh, and I absolutely thoroughly loved it. Um, and if you are an ACC and you're just like me, and you and you played it when it first came out and you thought it was brilliant, but you never, you know, you wanted skill-based matchmaking, Get on this website. It is absolutely brilliant. Fantastic racing. You can see we finished P2 in the end, just a tenth off. Gained some driver rating uh, and some safety rating and such. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the first race. Um, and let me know, guys, what you think of that and if you would actually consider joining this website. I'll leave a link to their website down below. It's Low Fuel Motorsports. If you're on PC on ACC and you want to sign up, please do consider. So it is busy. It is so popular right now. There's like five, six splits a race, and this was just a 25 minute version. There'll be 45 minute races as well, there'll be different series, there'll be endurance races, there'll be all sorts. So if you want to see more of that, let me know in the comments. And if you like this kind of video as well, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll catch you for the next ACC video. Take care. Ta-da.